Today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite defense for any trips formation in the game. This is trips tied in. This is U trips. This is Y off trips. This is any kind of three by one spread formation where you have trips to one side. This does not count for bunch. It does not count for bunch strong. We have a ton of other defenses like for those formations on the channel. Specifically, we are using this coverage to take away trips type formations, such as trips tied in offset, why off trips weak, um, stuff like that. So, and this can also apply to the trip side of a five wide formation. Okay, so what you're gonna do here, and we're in the nickel 3-3 cub. If you wanna get my entire defensive ebook on nickel 3-3 cub, we brought this defense back at the end of the year. It's completely revamped and updated with probably the best blitz in the game right now. You can get that by becoming a member of our school.com community. Our school.com community is the best place to get better at Madden or NCAA as we have full offensive and defensive ebooks for both games. And you get unlimited access to those by becoming a member today for just $10. So if you want to sign up, the link's in the description. Again, $10, it unlocks all of our offensive and defensive ebooks on the site. And we cover both NCAA and Madden. Okay, so let's get into this. And the biggest thing here is in your coaching adjustments, your zone drops need to be on default. Your zone coverage needs to be on match. From there, pretty much everything else is up to you. For me, I'm going to have auto flip on and auto alignment to default. And you cannot call cover four. You, you have to be doing these adjustments out of anything but a cover four. So it could be out of a man coverage call. It could be out of a cover three match. It could be out of a cover two. It cannot be out of a cover six, a cover nine, a cover four palms quarters or cover four drop. Okay. So we're going to do this out of Tampa two. And I think Tampa two is the best one to do this out of. So the trick that we're going to be employing here is we're going to use a match coverage technique to be able to take advantage of this. And these match coverages are hot routes that you're going to make with your defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the outside corner on the trip side into an outside quarter zone. And this is going to basically play match coverage on the number one trips receiver. So as you see here, I kind of showed it with man coverage. He's going to stay with him no matter what. So we're going to man him up, but but it, it, it's not man. It's technically match, and that match is going to play super, super good in, in the coverage. The next, uh, also, back to the fact that it's a match zone, it's a zone coverage. So technically, zone KOs are going to apply. Then what we're going to do is we are going to man up the number two receiver in the trips, or also known as the slot receiver. This is going, this is the only player in the formation that cannot really get matched well. The vert hook does match him, but it matches him oftentimes too late for it to be effective. So we're just going to take this vert hook on the left side to the nickel corner and man him up onto the triangle receiver. And then the last adjustment, quarter, man, quarter, we're going to take the safety and we're going to put him into an inside quarter as you can see right here. Now from there, what I like to do is press and then you can feel free to shade outside, okay? You don't have to, but I find shading outside can reduce some one play scores to that solo receiver. Also, if you wanna back off that guy to prevent any kind of bomb, that can be helpful too. You're still gonna play great defense. That's all you need to do. Everyone else on the field is gonna be utilized to defend the running back, and the tight end, including your user. So to illustrate this, we're just spying pretty much everybody over here. I'm going to hard flat this guy. And I just want you to watch at these, watch these three guys to the left side. So I'm going to run a standard combo and um, we're just going to utilize a C route over here and we'll use this. And I want you to watch how this plays. So you see these match zones are just incredible at taking away corners, crossers, post, anything like that. So um, I want you to look out here to the left side and we'll run another popular uh, route combination. And again, just kind of ignore the zones on the right. They're really just meant to, I'm just trying to get them out of the way. But if we take a look here to the left side, let's say they run that post. A lot of people like to do this. You'll see here, this is going to do a really good job. See that match there to that guy. 
They think the post is open, and at the last second, that match coverage is going to close it off every single time. This also is good for the streak corner flat combo over here to the, to the trip side. So, again, same exact defense. And what you'll see here to the left is that quarter zone will match a corner route perfectly. So they can't throw the ball to any of the receivers in the trips really without, I mean, playing, without throwing into really good coverage. This allows us to then kind of craft the coverage on the right side. Now, on the right side, there's really a couple of things that they can really hit that are, that are even an option, and it's going to all kind of come back to X under. So X under is really the only play that can threaten you in this uh, variation. Uh, let me find trips tied in offset. If I can find either uh, X under or level sale. And what you'll see here, the reason is because you have this deeper corner. So if you were to run this with a running back streak and you ran the defense kind of like what you see I have here, and I would go ahead and blitz your user, um, what you'll see is that this running back can clear out this deep half and this tight end corner can get open right there for a big play. Notice that the vertical hook is going to match late and is really not an effective method. So how do we counter that? What I like to do, and this is kind of goes to my coverage here to the trips or to the tight end side, is we're going to use a match technique as well over there. So uh, the technique or the match technique that I'm going to use here is we're actually going to go with a middle third to the right side safety. We're going to go with a outside quarter, not an outside third, an outside quarter to the right uh, side corner. And then we're going to take the linebacker on in the defensive end, and we're going to put both of them into zones. Now, the defensive end on the left, if you want to, feel free to bluff blitz him, and it will do a really good job of stopping any kind of running back Texas route or tight end drag. Another thing you can do is purple him, but I really like to bluff blitz him. So you see, this is kind of what the defense looks like. Now, remember, we don't have to worry about anything to the left side of the screen. We only have to worry about stuff to the right. So if they run that same route combo that just got open, you're going to notice that, that we're going to now get a match on that tight end corner, even though they have a clear out. It is not a zone drop quarter. It is a match quarter, and it's responsible for the first outside route on, the, on that side. So we'll show you this. And now we'll, we'll do a, uh, another variation. So let's say, and, and honestly, you could leave this vertical hook here too, but, but let's, say, let's say you get this purple here. And this is why I like the middle third, okay? This is really important. If I don't middle third, I'm going to put him in a spy, and they run that street corner flat combo like this. Watch what happens. Notice that quarter kind of squats on the running back, and this is a touchdown. That is why it's really important that you middle third uh, on, that, on that tight end side. So, again, quarter, man, quarter. If you want to leave it like this, this is a good blitz look. Like if you want to send four, this would be something that I would send four out of. And then you just know if they run a deep tight end corner, I got to kind of watch that, right? Because I don't have to worry about anything at all over to that left side of the screen. But I think the better coverage is what I just showed you with the, with the three racks. So even if they run like a combo, like what you see here, this, again, I don't have to worry about anything left and I'm bluff blitzing here to the right. So this quarter, inside third, purple. Now look what I have to do. See how that three wreck's going to take something? And then I just cut either the tight end drag or the running back route. That's all you have to do. And everything's taken away on the right. So you could leave the cover two and just play cover two to the right. That's fine. You just got to worry about the tight end deep corner if you do that. Or if you uh, – the cool part about this is, like, let's say they run this setup of verticals. The cool part about this defense is you're closing that middle of the field. So the post will never be able to manipulate you. They also can't throw like a tight end post over the middle with the coverage like this. And then that quarter, you'll notice that this quarter zone to the right is going to take away that tight end corner route. So that's going to be completely you know, taken away for you. So to me, this is the, the best of everything that you can do. I want to show you one final uh, route combo from trips that you do need to kind of think through and watch 
Uh, but in general, again, if you want to run this cover two, this cover two to the right is really good. You just have to be careful about that tight end. I think the safer coverage would be this. So on a slant post call, what you're going to do with your user here is you are going to take that tight end, but sometimes that three rep will go match him. But notice the tight end is open across the middle. So you're going to need to go user that yourself. All right. But that's in general what I like to do for any trip set. So it doesn't just apply to trips tight end. I'll show you real quick. This same principle applies to um, like five wide. So a lot of people struggle to defend kind of these empty five wide type sets. This defense kills five wide. So what you can do is, again, quarter man, uh, whoops, quarter man quarter, right? And then on this right side, you could either, you can honestly just play cover two. Um, you certainly could just play cover two, and this is pretty good defense. Or if you wanted to, you could play cover three with a man up on that slot receiver, which is really good for seam streak type stuff. But what you'll see here to the left side is literally the match is going to be really good and everyone's going to get matched and it's going to be very difficult to move. It's the by far the best trip style defense in the game. Thank you for watching the video. To get our entire 3 through Cub defensive ebook, join our school.com community by clicking the link down in the description below.